It's a really depressing thought that depression is caused by genes. But is it? Over 25 years, researchers believe that a specific set of 18 genes played a pivotal role in determining our susceptibility to depression. But a new study encompassing data from 620,000 people reveals a surprising twist. These genes, previously thought to be depression influences, are no more associated with depression than randomly chosen genes. So what's going on with genes and depression? The lead author of this massive study, Matthew Keller, said, and I quote, the results, even to us, were a little bit stunning. So what does this mean for a long hoped for dream of a genetic depression test or, or tailored gene therapy? Well, it's tempting to seek a straightforward answer, you know, a simple glitch in our genetic code or a neurochemical imbalance. But the truth is, as always, a bit more complex. Depression isn't just about chemicals, it's a human experience. If we get too blinkered by depression as a physical disease, we lose sight of the individuals with unique stories and stresses and learned thinking patterns. While exploring the intricacies of our brain is crucial, we also need to turn our gaze to the lives that we lead. You know, how much meaning do they contain? Yes, we need to unravel the genetic tapestry of depression and understand the intricate dance between our genes and our experiences. But we also know that even if a gene for depression was found one day, then changing thoughts and feelings and behaviors change the expression of our genes anyway. This is called epigenetics. So I guess according to this massive uh, research project, at least as far as we can tell, no one is genetically destined to be depressed. For weekly therapy tips, subscribe to my newsletter at unk.com, that's unk.com forward slash blog.